Hey, hey, Jocelyn Briggs here with Boundless Pursuits Coaching and Training. How are you? Happy Friday, TGIF. Maybe you are, it is a long weekend too, I just clued in. It's like, I feel like my life is just one big long. Sometimes it's a big long weekend and sometimes it's a big long day. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, let me know in the comments if you're jumping on what you're doing for the long weekend. Are you doing anything special? Maybe you're en route somewhere right now. Maybe you're packing up. Maybe you're just hanging out at home and enjoying some downtime. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about something that I thought of the other day that I, I thought was a really good analogy for what we do to ourselves when we when we decide to start to make some health changes in our life right like so maybe maybe we decide to change what we're eating right maybe we decide we're going to exercise more but we have the kind of the intuitive hit like i got to change things up i got to do something um or maybe you're just const like constantly always looking for ways to improve your health you know which one are you are you are you sort of off the rails right now or are you kind of on the rails and you're just always looking for ways to just get better, right? And so I had this thought the other day that I wanted to share because I thought it was a great analogy for what we do. Because what I find many of us do, including myself, is we decide, okay, I'm going to start working out. I'm going to start eating better. It's like literally we expect results right away, right? We're like, I ate a salad today. Um why don't my clothes fit better yet? Or I worked out like three times this week, like why, <laughs> why isn't the scale moving? Or, and sometimes it feels like it goes the opposite way, right? And I, and I have, I have an explanation for that, but like sometimes we are doing all the things and it's like two or three weeks and we're like still not seeing, you know, the results. And I thought of this, this thought occurred to me the other day that, um, Hang with me for a second. I'm going to explain this. Say hi if you're jumping on, by the way, and let me know, you know, where are you at right now? Are you, are you kind of, you know, good looking for better? Are you just getting started looking for good? Or are you like, I, I don't know, I got to start somewhere. Like, where are you at? So think of when you give somebody a gift, right? When you give somebody a, a birthday gift or, or it's maybe it's just a gesture we don't typically, hey Kaylee, oh, I haven't talked to you in so long. We don't typically give someone a gift and expect something in return, right? So like say you give your, I just, I just gifted a couple friends a really funny book that I found that I thought would crack them up. I'm not expecting them to send me a gift in return, right? Um, or, you know, you send someone a nice card or sometimes, you know, you pay for someone's coffee behind you. Like you don't expect something in return, when you give a gift to somebody. And I thought that's kind of like how we should look at our health. Like when we, when we eat a, a well-balanced, healthy meal, like that is a gift that we're giving to ourselves. When we, I don't know why my hair looks so freaking yellow right now, you guys. Like this is like, do you guys think I should color my hair? Like do you think I should highlight my hair and do something with this yellowness? Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. Um, okay, back on track here. When you, you work out, you move your body, you go for a walk, you do work out, you lift some weights. Thank you, Karen. I don't know. It looks, I feel like I look like that chick from the Muppets. <laughs> I don't know what her name is. I think it's Janice, you know, the, the one that's in the band. Um, we expect something in return for every single thing we do for ourselves, right? Like we go to bed early and we expect, okay, I should be really well rested now. We you know, we eat a salad and we're like, oh, like I should be skinny now. Or we work out once and, and it, it goes on and on and on. Right. And then we get frustrated because we keep giving gifts to ourselves. And we're like, when, when am I going to get the gift in return? <laughs> what if we stopped thinking like that? What if we changed our mindset to the mindset we have when we gift other people, we gift other people. Think about the energy behind that. Like with, with a feeling of generosity, with a feeling of abundance, with a feeling of, you know, we want to uplift that person. We want to make that person feel better um, or feel good or we want to make them smile. Like what if we did that for ourselves? So what if when we did, did something good for ourselves, right? Gave ourselves the gift of health, the gift of like nourishment, 
the gift of self-care because every time we do something good for ourselves when it comes to um, either what we take in like food wise or how we move our bodies like that is a gift that is actually a responsibility in some ways hey Brandy hey Lisa and and I hope this is sort of resonating with some of you because I know it it has shifted the way I look at everything I do for myself now so every time I I eat something healthy, like whether it's produce, you know, I choose something that is going to fuel my body. Like I'm thinking from a different mindset. I'm not thinking from, you know, like a, a mindset of obligation. Like I'm not feeling obligated to eat the salad. I'm thinking I'm giving myself a gift right now because I'm, I'm using my adult responsibility and choosing the thing that my body needs instead of what my mind wants, right? And so um, that's what I wanted to share with you today because I wondered if that could sort of shift your mindset. And, and the, to, just to break it down, I would say when you do something for you, pretend you're doing something for someone else, right? Like think, think almost like outer body experience. Like I'm doing this as a gift for me. What is the energy that you give a gift to somebody else with? not obligation and resentment and like ugh, I need to eat the salad because I'm so fat and my pants don't fit and I feel like garbage and my doctor told me like that's not the energy you give gifts to other people with so it shouldn't be the energy that you give gifts to yourself with either so I hope that resonates I hope that makes you think and I hope that you start to look at the actions that you take through a different lens and through a lens of responsibility, right? Like we're adults, we're responsible for our own health and self-care and self-love, right? And I will share really quickly um, before I sign off a really sad story. So we, have, we had a family friend pass away recently and um, I think the saddest, the saddest, most tragic part of this passing was it was health related and it could have been avoided like 100% and you know he left behind three children and a, and a, and a wife um, and it just you know to, to me it just made me take a step, step back and go like I I need to take the responsibility of care for this that this this place that I live like your body is where you live you don't get to move out of your body until you pass right like you're you're stuck there you can you can move to a condo you can move to a farm you can move to Florida you can move to the Alps but your body's coming with you so you know sometimes I feel like you know my husband and I go like we need to wake up and do better and I feel like um our culture and our society like we need to do better we need to look at health as a responsibility and something that we do for ourselves not that we fight with ourselves about so anyways that got, got a little heavy at the end but give yourself a gift and make sure you're not expecting things in return have a great day have a great weekend